Come on, pay phones. Big money, big money. Free scratch. Sweet. Hello? Hello. Could I speak to Jara? Is anyone here named Jara? Jara? Nope, not here. Oh. I, uh, oh. wait. Don't cry. Oh. Jara! <laughs> I, uh, why are you so upset? I'm sorry. It wasn't anything you said. Good, because all I said was Jara, and you said that first. <laughs> I should let you go. I don't have any plans. Want to talk? <laughs> Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16. Starting to find my way, got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God, I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet, when you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last I'm 16, 16 Have a good day. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> yeah. So, what's with the paint? Remember Coach Halder's psycho son, Corey? Well, he and his dad are in training for some paintball war games thing and using me for target practice. That's killer! Paintball wars are awesome! Yeah, really cool. Are they allowed to do that? No, but they own the store. When I told him to cut it out, Coach Halder gave me a penalty for being such a girly girl. Ugh, I hate that guy! <sighs> well, my break's over. Back to the front lines. Go get him, soldier! Hey. Hey! Is it stain day today? This has officially been the worst day of my life. Let me guess, you failed an exam. No. Your old bedwetting problem come back? Oh, do you do that? No. Finally realized that the responsible guy never gets the girl? No. Wait, they don't? Come on, Wyatt. It can't be that bad. Wanna bet? First, I slept in. So I was rushing to get ready, and I stepped on my guitar and broke it. Ouch. Whoa. Dang. Then I run outside to grab my bike to find that I left the garage door open last night and my bike's gone. Oops. Wow, that's bad. Dang. I finally get here, grab a coffee and run to underground, where I trip, and my very much needed coffee goes flying out of my hand. Oh, ouch. Dang. Okay, that's enough with the dang there, Tex. Wait, it gets better. I didn't just drop my coffee. Oh, oh no. You did what? Is that bad? Samurai Space Warriors is the first movie to ever take place in space. It was a first-run collector's edition. They don't make it on VHS anymore. And it was at that point that Wayne fired me. Do you think he might forgive you when he cools down? This movie meant more to me than your life! Your life! Your life! Your life! I somehow doubt it. Whoop-dee-doo! You got axed from a job! Two in a row, actually. That won't look good on a resume. Please! It's great for the resume! Oh, do enlighten us. This sounds interesting. Look at Nikki, for example. One job. That's her resume. Nikki Wong, khaki barn. End of story. Wow. Never thought of it that way. Is that how people think of me? Ha <laughs> ha! What are you laughing at? You're Caitlin Cook, Lemonhead. <sighs> to Nikki's next employer, her only skill will be folding sweaters. When someone looks at my resume and sees all the places I've worked, they see that I can do everything. Okay, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I can do more than fold sweaters. Can you? You'll find a job, Wyatt. You're smart, hardworking, and you're friendly. What's not to like? Thanks, guys. Wish me luck. Luck! I've been surfing since I was six. It's not that different from skateboarding, it's just on water. That is so cool! When you come to Australia, I'll take you on my old board. 
There's a little piece missing out of it where it got bit by a shark. <laughs> Just missed my ankle, too. Surfing shark fighting girl from Australia? You're awesome! <laughs> Thanks, Jude. I heard that in Australia, when they flush the toilet, the water spins counterclockwise. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, I live here. Okay. So, Jara was your boyfriend? Yeah, his family moved to Canada last week, so we broke up. I had his new number on a piece of paper, but it went through the wash, so I can't really make it out. Bummer. You sound pretty cool. If you lived here, I wouldn't move away from you. Thanks, Jude. You sound cool, too. <laughs> ow! 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 Ah! Bang on! Good aim, Cory! Alders rule! Arr. Masterson, clean up this mess and stop lying down on the job. Oh, brother. Hey, see what I did there? Yeah, I said stop lying down on the job because she was lying down. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dad. Ugh, this is going to be a really long week. Dude, dudettes. Hi, where have you been hiding? Hanging out with my new girlfriend. What? Good man. That was fast. Well, who is she? Where did you meet her? Her name's Callie. Is she a hottie? Can we meet her? Definitely. Follow me. Oh, dear. Okay, Wyatt, I'm Tim. Hi, Tim. Did I tell you that you could call me Tim? Well, that was how you introduced us. Your... You can call me sir. Wyatt, there are three ways to do things here. The right way, the wrong way, and my way. Is your way the right way? Absolutely. So, wouldn't there just be two ways to do things then? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you interviewing me today? Because I thought I was interviewing you. I don't hear any singing. My burger lies over the ocean. My burger lies over the sea. And if I could send you my burger, how yummy and tasty it'd be. My burger Do you like music, Wyatt? Actually, I sing, play guitar, and write my own songs. Are you going to answer my question or just waste my time? I like music. Good. Some people say it's silly to sing for the customers. Do you think it's silly to sing for the customers? Uh, no. I do. I think it's silly. That's why we don't sing for them. You don't? No, we don't. We sing for the meat. You talk to a house plant and it grows faster. Fact. If you sing to meat, it tastes better. Also fact. This is the Burger Bible. It has all of our songs in it. Learn them. Let's get that singing 8% louder, people. My you start tomorrow. Thank you. I think. And if I could send you my I thought we were going to meet your girlfriend. She could call any minute. Call from where? Australia. Whoa! Back up a minute, dude. You don't even know what this girl looks like? No. She dialed the wrong number and we started hanging out. On the phone? Dude, she could be a dog. Or a dingo! No way, bro. She told me what she looks like. Sounds like she looks like Caitlyn. Oh, she sounds pretty. I like her. She could be lying. Well, I think it's romantic. I think it's nuts. How are you supposed to score with a girl halfway around the world? Ugh, Jonesy, you know, you really are a pig sometimes. Wait, I thought payphones aren't supposed to accept incoming calls. Guess this one's busted. When someone realizes it's broken, won't they get it fixed? They would do that? Don't draw unnecessary attention to the phone and it will be fine. Don't worry, phone. I'll protect you. Guess what? I just got hooked up with a job at Burger McFlipsters. The place where they sing about their burgers? No way! <laughs> I feel sorry for you, man. We always make fun of those poor suckers. And now you're one of them! <laughs> It was the only place that would hire me, and I need the money to fix my guitar. At least no one will shoot paintballs at you there. Yeah, and it'll make a great story when you're famous. Thanks. Well, I'm off to work. I love burgers, yes I do! I love burgers, how about you? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a burger on a yummy yummy bun? I'll serve it up with fries and we'll have a little fun. Put your hands in your pockets and your pockets in your pants, and all of the staff will do the combo dance. La 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 la! La, 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 la. Put your hands in your pockets and your pockets in your pants, and all of the staff will do the burger combo dance. <laughs> Yay! Okay, he's new here and so cute. 
Usually I find those songs totally annoying. Oh, totally! <laughs> I don't recall that song being in the Burger Bible. Well, no, it isn't. I just kind of made it up. You've got a brain, Wyatt. I like that in a person. Keep it up. It's the lightest driver we have. Cover me! <gasps> oh! Ow! You missed me! Ow! Mm. Oh, there's a rule! Stuart, if you don't give me my milk, we're through. Oh, oh boy. You told me you were going to milk. Okay, I should go. Yeah, you should go, you little... Before I do, should I get the milk in a carton or in the bag? The burgers here are mighty fine. Our shakes are really sweet. The best part about working here are the pretty girls I meet. <laughs> were all over him. He was like a rock and roll meat poet. Are you okay? Whoa, must have nodded off on the wheels. You look awful. I had to be here when the mall opened at six for cleaning this morning. I didn't want to miss Callie in case she tried to call again. It must be hard to always have to talk on a payphone. Why don't you call her on your cell? Call Australia? Are you crazy? Australia is like at least five hours away. Yeah, that would cost a lot. Gotta run. Later, dudes. Well, you are officially looking at the new assistant manager of Burger McFlipsters. Wow, that was fast. Tim says that sales go up 23.6% when I'm working. Wyatt, I'm really proud of you. But? No buts, just proud. Uh, thanks, Jonesy. Not only do I respect you, Wyatt, but I think Burger McFlipsters is a fine establishment. Okay, what's with the mind games? What? I'm just supporting my friend. Stop it, Jonesy. You're freaking me out. Yeah, I thought you hated McFlipsters. Never! I love that place. Oh, hey, just wondering for argument's sake, as assistant manager, do you have a say in the hiring of staff? Oh, I get it. Don't do it, Wyatt. Be strong. Don't look in his eyes. <laughs> Too late. I guess I could ask. Thanks, boss. I won't let you down. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to regret this? I can't handle another five days of this, Coach Holder. Get in the fight or get off the field, Masterson. What gives with the Joe job, dude? First off, I am not your dude. I'm sir. Okay, sir. I think my talents would be better served dealing with the haughty, uh, customers directly. If you got a job at the airport, they wouldn't let you fly a plane on your first day, would they? They would if I was a pilot. Are you a pilot, Jonesy? Hello, lady. Ah! Oh! Ow! <laughs> Dare I ask? I need a place to chill while I guard the phone. I never really know when she's going to call. Uh, I think Ron the rent a might notice a tent set up in the mall. That's what the tape is for. <laughs> Somebody get the door. Kelly! Wait, wait! Hello, Callie? Jude? Boy, have I missed you. I missed you, too. I just had my first driving class. I should have been studying this week for my math test. <sighs> Jude? Are you listening? Yes, Mom. Mom? I wait all day to talk to you and you can't even pay attention? Mm. I'm hanging up the phone now. Huh? Oh, no. I mean, I was... Forget it. You obviously aren't in the mood to talk. I'll call you back when you're actually listening. No, Callie, wait. Seven of hearts? <laughs> Last card. I win! <laughs> bloody knuckles or a date with Taco Julie? I'll take the bloody knuckles. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you cheated! 
Thanks for phone sitting, guys. I really needed that bathroom break. This is a cool pad and all, Jude, but you've been here for two days now, and it's getting a little... Um... Stinky? Yeah. You do realize there are girls on this side of the planet to date? You don't get it. She's gorgeous, easy to talk to, and her accent is really cool. Yeah, hang in there, bro. We better get back to work. He's gone squirrely. Oh, fully nuts. Masterson! Masterson! Oh, there you are. I uh, wanted to let you know that Corey and I have finished our training. We just wanted to thank you, Masterson. Not only were you a tough target, but you were the best team player I know. If we win that trophy, I'll see to it that your name goes on it, too. Thank you, Coach Halder. I hope you and Corey win that... Ha! Ha! Let your guard down there, Masterson! <laughs> nice shot, Corey! Nailed her good! Grill, grill, grill your burger gently on the flame. You know I'll make the best on earth, cause why it is my name. Oh, thank you, thank you, ladies. You really are too kind. Jonesy. Ah. Learn it. Tomorrow you can start behind the grill. Yes! Ladies, here I come. Do you have any threes? Okay, I'm gonna give it to you straight. This tent is gross. I'm sitting on a chicken wing. How much longer are you gonna wait for her call? As long as I have to. Well, you're gonna go crazy in this tent all by yourself. But I love her! I'm not gonna go crazy. Hi, Caitlin. I'm so pretty. Hey, Caitlin. Can I give you some advice? Because I'm Jan. And I like to boss everyone around. I could really use some coffee, bro. I have no job. Buy me one, too. Rogue again, huh, Chonesy? What a surprise. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Huh? No! All right, that's it. The mall's closed and you're going home. Have a girlfriend in Australia. Well, we're not in Australia, maggot. Now move it. Well, here come your first customers. Fry shakes, condiments, Jonesy's on the scene. Burgers and dogs, burgers and dogs, excellent cuisine. Ew, I feel like barfing. Ew, I hate that. Let's go to Wonder Taco. <laughs> Come again soon. Relax, bro. Not now. Here comes lucky contestant number three. I'm grill, grilling for you. And I'm sure that you'll like what I do. Ew, no, you're a greasy loser. Come back soon. Wyatt, can I talk to you? You called down the thunder? Well, you've got it! Yeah, no, just uh, uh, take that up to the cast, sir. Yeah, we'll look after you up there. <laughs> ah! Oh, I've been hit! Manic! Manic! Hey. Finally, I text you like five times. I will watch this phone for two minutes, so you'd better move it. Miss Masterson, she snapped. Be on your toes. Stay sharp, Corey. Stay sharp. <gasps> <gasps> Hello? Hello? Can I speak to Jude? Oh, hey. This is his friend, Nikki. He, uh, he just stepped out. Well, can you give him a message for me? My boyfriend, Jared, finally called and he hates it then. He's coming back to Oz. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't you think you should tell Jude this yourself? Uh, he won't mind. It's not like anything really could have happened between us. 
We're on opposite ends of the world. Do you think you could tell him bye for me? Oh, sure thing. Thanks. You're a mate. Have you ever seen a burger on a yummy, yummy bun? Jonesy, I know you've heard it a hundred times, but Tim feels that maybe you aren't exactly... Wait, Wyatt, can I try something that I've always wanted to do? Um, okay. <clears throat> I quit! Wow, that felt good. <laughs> so, are we cool? Totally. It wasn't my scene. You go get those burger-eating girls, Wyatt. You go get them. My wedding is only seven days away. Tell me about it. I'm about to inherit three smelly stepbrothers. I don't think this dress will fit me. Sure it will. And don't forget they'll be my smelly stepsons. Yeah, well, you don't have to share a bathroom with them. Oh, maybe it won't be that bad. You don't know, Mom. They spit all over the sink, leave their nasty underwear on the ground, and they never wash their towels. Oh, and yesterday, they ate all the nacho chips. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't want you to marry Jonesy's dad. I just wish we could stay in our house instead of moving into theirs. Jen, we already went over this. Their house is much bigger than ours, and there's seven of us now. At least Jonesy and Diego are moving up to the loft as soon as it's finished, so we can have their rooms. All set. Oh, Courtney, you look beautiful! <gasps> it's so pretty, Mom. Oh! You have the perfect body for this dress. Jen, come out. Let's see you. <gasps> oh, dear. I know, I know. Flat-chested Jen can't even fill out a size 6. That's so weird. My size 6 fits me perfectly. I'll start pinning. Ow! Watch it! She has surprisingly large thighs. <gasps> I hate this wedding. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16. Starting to find my way, got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. I'm 16, 16. Make the good times last Do you like white flowers or pink? I don't care. Do you think you'll get married outdoors or inside a church? Hey, guys. Hey, Jen. Oh, my gosh. You look awful. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Except that I had zero bathroom time this morning. It's bad enough Courtney needs an hour in front of the mirror. But now I have to deal with three boys, too. And they'll fight you for the bathroom. I have practically no feeling left in my upper arm. Surprise, surprise. The move-in's not going well. No. And don't even ask about the dress. Here, let me fix you up. Why can't they get married and just stay in their own houses? Then everything would be perfect. Good thinking. Then you could yell even louder at each other. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Well, it should. It would be better for the kids. Jonesy and his brothers are impossible. Excusez-moi. It's girls that are impossible to deal with. Try having a bathroom drawer stuffed with tampons and makeup and listening to chick music all night. Oh, yuck. Exactly. We only moved in two days ago, and already they're playing Couch Commando and totally hogging the remote. Oh, I hate that! Then, the guys have this rule about the big comfy armchair. Oh, the eating chair? Yeah, that's the one. Anyone who's eating gets to sit in it. And if someone has a bigger meal than you, then they get to kick you out of the chair. Which is so unfair, because they're guys. We'll never eat more than them. Okay, that is a great rule. 
That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I ate an entire pint of ice cream last night just to be able to sit in the chair for 20 minutes. You can't change 16 years of tradition. That's how it's always been, and that's how it will always be. <sighs> I have to get to work. At least one thing in my life hasn't changed. Later, girls. <coughs> what? Have a cow, why don't you? Ugh, gross! You're outside, Masterson! Fine, give me a penalty. But it's not my fault. His feet do stink. Yellow. Okay, am I overreacting, or are all men barbarians? Guys are like badly trained dogs. They'd all pee on the furniture if we let them. You don't think that if I like Jonesy's dad, it's kind of cheating on my dad, do you? I mean, even though he's gone, I still feel like he's my dad. I think he'd be psyched to know you have someone cool like Jonesy's dad to be your stepfather. He'd want you to be happy. Can you believe such a nice dad has such annoying sons? I know, they must be adopted or something. <laughs> Jen, I've got to go. The clones are staring at me. Yes? What is that? It's a bandana. We use it to decorate customers, remember? Why is it stuck in your pocket? I don't know. I was decorating the front window like you told me to, and I must have stuck it in my pocket. Admit it, you were trying to steal this bandana. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't be caught dead in one of these. Maybe you'd be caught alive. What? That's not all. Our khaki barn logo label gun is missing, too. Oh, and what would I do with one of those? Wallpaper my bedroom with khaki barn logos? <gasps> Ooh, cute idea! Okay, is the interrogation over, or are you gonna call in CSI? We'll be watching you, Nikki. <laughs> ah! Uh, I must have been so bad in a previous life. I thought you girls already tried your dresses on. Knock, knock. Mine's already perfect, but Jen needed a second fitting. I heard that. You guys clean up pretty well. I've got to say, I look pretty money in this tux. I am so the man. I can barely move in this dress now. Chicks at Grimey are gonna go wild when they see me in these duds at the stag party. Did you just say your stag party is at Grimey? Yep, Thursday night, baby. They double booked us? So? Grimey's a big place. We can have them both there. It'll be fun. You can't have a stag party at the same place we're having our shower. Why not? <laughs> nice dress. Shut it. Because showers are nice, classy events. And what the heck does your dad need a stag for anyway? He's been married before. Well, what the heck does your mom need a shower for? It's tradition. tradition. Exactly. And you're supposed to be wearing purple ties to match our dresses? We like green. Well, too bad. Who says you get to decide? That's just the way it is. I don't want to wear a purple tie. <gasps> <gasps> Ow. Take it easy, sis. Josie, control your brothers! Okay, we'll wear the stupid purple ties, but we're not moving the stag. We booked it first. And another thing! I hate guys! We'll just move the stag. top has gone missing. Care to enlighten us? Okay, how about it's ugly and never should have been available for public consumption? We think you stole it. Fascinating. Do you have any proof? We don't need proof. We voted, and we all think that you did it. Oh, now this is a democracy? No, it's a khakiocracy. And if we had proof, you'd be fired by now. Right now, we're just majorly suspicious. Okay, this is starting to get annoying. You carry this into and out of the store with all your belongings in it so we can see them clearly. You're kidding, right? I wish I was. 
Wait. No, I don't. Nice bag, Nikki. <laughs> the clones think I'm trying to steal their crappy clothing. Bug off, you nosy little creep. <sighs> so, how's the moving going? Last night, Jen just started crying out of nowhere. Well, there had to be a reason, Jonesy. Did you ask her? I don't know. Something about no one listening to her or something? I wasn't really paying attention. Huh? What happened here? I feel it too. Serious tension. Jonesy saw Chen naked yesterday. <laughs> Ow! She's your stepsister. Show a little respect. And you! It was an accident! I swear! I didn't see anything! It's actually good that this happened now and not in a year or two when you finally get your boobs, Jen. Uh, can we just go and get this stupid present now, please? <sighs> no. No way! Oh, we are not getting them a massage chair. You guys just want it for yourselves. Frankly, I'm insulted that you would even say that. Uh, a touch control 3000 is not an appropriate wedding gift. Oh, wait. The lumbar cycle's about to start. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh... No way, Jonesy. There's an easy way to settle this. We'll do it the democratic way and take a vote. All in favor of the Tush Control 3000, say aye. 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 Sorry, we can't help it if you're outnumbered. Ring this up, my good man, and tie a bow on it, will you? It's a gift. This is so not fair! You can't just do this. Calm down now. Tell you what, we'll let you pick the color. Courtney. That was harsh. But we got the chair. Calm down. I can't believe that guy. We've got to get them back. Seriously, if we don't put a stop to this now, think of how it's going to be after the wedding. Oh, I know. And I think I know just how to do it. Sorry. No, but Dad! But Dad! Ugh! Great Wall of China, this sucks! Let's go, boys. Welcome to the khaki barn. What? Stop staring at me! <laughs> Do you think this would be appropriate for a wedding shower? Careful. She might steal your purse. Ugh. so weird seeing your mom get married. But you do like Jonesy's dad, right? Sure, he's okay. I just wish the guys weren't such guys. Don't worry, they should be getting the good news any minute now. Hey, what's the big idea? Diego and I were supposed to split the cool loft space in the attic, but someone just convinced my dad to give it to Jen and Courtney. Yes, we're just picking our paint color now. Wanna help? How'd you do it, huh? You pulled the sweet little girl act, didn't you? Maybe. Do you like this one? Ooh, good choice. That is totally offside. He has no experience with daughters. He doesn't know how to say no. We can't help it if we're resourceful. Gee, I feel calm right now. Do you feel calm? I feel really calm. So you want to play this way now? Fine. We're not moving the stag. What? You said you were going to. That was before you stole our loft. So you can throw your little wedding shower at grind me if you want, but we will be there. Fine! I understand there's been an H719 Section B disturbance here. That's right, officer. You suspect an inside job? Oh, definitely. So inside. Oh, come on. You actually called in the rent-a-cop? That's mall security officer. Is that the perp? <laughs> Girls, this is such a lovely party. You've done a beautiful job. You go, bro! 
there just had to be a game on. <sighs> Finger sandwiches, anyone? <laughs> Storyking! <laughs> Was that my new stepson? Oh, that is it! until 10 p.m. You never said anything about noise restrictions. This is so unfair. Ugh. Well, I guess we'd better get going. Thank you for a lovely party, girls. Good times while it lasted, bro. Well, I hope you're happy. Us? You guys just ruined our wedding shower. You know what? Just don't talk to me again, ever. Fine by me. Let me in there, Missy. Look, can you just go away for a while? Negative. You go, I go. There are items in that washroom that need to be protected. Okay, okay, that's it. I can't live like this. I quit. No way! Yes! My work here is done. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh oh. Uh, Chrissy? Chrissy? What? <gasps> Stanley has something to say to you girls. Sorry I stole all the stuff. I don't know what to say. He's usually such a good little boy. Uh, thank you for returning these. She's really gonna make me grovel. Isn't she? I can still remember the time when my mom first met Mr. Garcia. It was when I was five years old and we had just moved into the neighborhood and our basement was flooded. Actually, I think they met at our little league game. Uh, no, it was when the basement leaked. Your dad helped bail us out. I think he's right. I think you're right, dude. Okay, anyway. A lot has happened, and now we all have to live together, so cheers. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Oops! Uh, Nikki, can we talk to you? We know you didn't steal anything. It was that annoying little boy who comes in here with his mom. You know, the mom who dresses like a cougar. We brought you your knapsack! You can use it any time in the store! Gee, thanks, Kirsten. I'll be sure to mention that when I call head office to tell them about how you guys harassed me. Later. Wait! You can have any shifts you want. And unlimited elite washroom usage. And two extra breaks a day. Make it three and you have a deal. <gasps> you are such a pig! You've had like ten of these already! <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, were you just staring at my chest? Pervert! <laughs> No! Ew, no! I wasn't, Dad! That's it! You are such a jerk! Ooh. Hey, if you're so hungry, take mine! Oh, this is yeah. getting really oh. ugly, oh. dude. Oh. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, everyone. We have an announcement to make. Where did you learn your manners anyway? A barnyard? The only cow around here is <clears> you. <throat> we have decided to postpone the wedding. <gasps> We had no idea how miserable this was making you all, but it's clear to us now that you just aren't ready for this kind of change. So we've decided to wait until you're all grown up and on your own. Wow, I feel so bad. You should. Shut up, you little pain in my butt. Guys, you've got to stop it! You're ruining your parents' wedding. Nikki's right. And as much as I can't stand you guys, your dad does make our mom really happy. Yeah, ditto. But what are we gonna do? We can't agree on anything. We need someone neutral. Someone who's gotten out of tough situations before. Someone you all respect. How important is the respect part? Gentlemen, ladies, I know seeing your parents get married is about as comfortable as wearing a pair of synthetic thong underwear. But, from where I sit, you soldiers have it pretty good. 
Good. Now let's turn you maggots into a family. I don't feel as if I'm being heard. Like, when I say I really have to pee, I really have to pee. You will let the girls into the washroom when they have to pee. Deal. The rules of the eating chair must be observed. It's tradition. Okay, I understand. This is tradition. Will you concede at least one hour of girl programming per night if the girls agree to relinquish all rights to said chair? We will. Very well. Let's call that bylaw 27. And in accordance, the girls shall play their chick music at a sound level no louder than 110 decibels. And the boys shall refrain from farting in presence of the girls. All parties copacetic? Yes. OK. Cool. Definitely. Sign here. I now pronounce you a family. <laughs> nice. Thanks, man. You saved our lives. I know. Now suck it up, you little mama's boy, and go tell your parents the wedding is on. I love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. And thank you. This is one heck of a good cake. Hey, you can stop staring at my boobs any time. Gosh, you guys are annoying. Yeah, but you'll grow to love us. So, it's official. You're my brother now. I guess it could be worse. Yeah, you're not so bad. By the way, as your new brother, I think I should warn you, we can all see your underwear. I think I'm gonna like having sisters. Hey Wyatt, fashion tip. You don't need to wear the hat until you're actually at work. Huh? Oh, why didn't you tell me I was still wearing this? I might as well wear a sign that says I earn minimum wage. I was waiting to see how long it would take you to notice. Pre-caffeine, no fair. Nuts. Uh, what's chafing his butt? Hey. One no-foam soy chai latte? One jet fuel mocha stimulate. Man, do I need this coffee. I was up till 3 a.m. writing new songs for the Burger Bible. The what? Burger McFlipsters has a song Bible, and Tim ordered me to rewrite them all. Oh, I have the worst writer's block. Wyatt, Bono would have trouble writing an ode to a slab of meat. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> Excuse me, we're on break, and newsflash, you're not. So hurry up with those caps. Next. What are these? You've got three choices today. Small, medium, and large. Go crazy. Ah! Good one. We ordered no foam soy chai. Yeah, yeah, I know. What a pretentious waste of five bucks. 450 of it's just gonna go back into the grind me marketing machine. What's your problem? They all taste the same. Stop kidding yourself. Okay, let me guess. You don't know how to make them, do you? Busted. I don't suppose that book on your lap is a training manual. Okay, wait. Nikki is reminding someone to read their training manual? <laughs> this is too funny. A trained monkey could make lattes. It's not that hard. Do you even know what a real coffee tastes like? You're a coffee sheep. Tell me what overpriced sludge to drink. <laughs> this guy sounds like you. I dare you to drink a plain, medium, regular coffee and see if your world comes tumbling down. You are going to make me that latte blender, boy. Or else? Or else I'll get your sorry butt fired. Ooh, now I'm scared. Come on, Nikki, we're late. Fine. <laughs> Ugh. Can you believe that minimum wage know-it-all wisecracking at- Nikki? Well, he thinks it's just him against the man. So much smarter than the rest of us. Nikki. Nikki. Can't even make a soy no fo- Nikki! What? You may want to go easy on the sugars. You like him, don't you? <gasps> I do not like him! Well, well I don't. Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so
so fast You gotta make the good times last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last I'm like the only dude at work now. Wyatt got fired and Wayne's on vacation. Are you kidding me? You're laughing, man. Underground video is your territory now. Here at the arcade, I'm the business. Yeah, it's Jones. He's tall. Look at that. Look at him. Wow, he's cool, Whoa. man. When I come in, these punks douse their drawers. Watch. Sweet. <laughs> And now for the game that made the Jonesmeister a legend, Space Annihilator. Huh? Scram! Oh yeah! Bring it home to Jonesy! Oh! Did you see that? You're a genius! Jonesy's line. He can't talk right now. What's your name again? Uh, Jen? Masterson? Tell him that if he doesn't start picking up his underwear around the house, I'm gonna hang it off the lemon! Sorry, Nikki. Where were we? Well, that little slime ball tells me to order a regular coffee from- Wait, are you guys talking about Grumpy Hawkeye at the Grind Me on level three? You have a name for him? We have names for all the hot guys in the mall. <sighs> I love the way Grumpy Hawkeye never shaves. Or smiles. Look, we are not getting all boy crazy over this guy. But it's so fun! We don't have any boys to go crazy over ourselves. Can't we at least go crazy over your boy? We can go proxy boy crazy. Woo! Okay, that's really weird. And he's not my boy. Not interested. Grumpy Hawkeye's hot for Nikki! Uh, no. Grumpy Nikki's grumpy for Grumpy Hawkeye. What? <sighs> what am I saying? Okay, at least tell us what sign he is. Ugh! Probably a Virgo. You have anything caffeinated back there? I'll get you coffee. Uh, it's my turn. He is so hot. I heard that. Hey. What? Cool. Jonesy's about to beat the all-time world record on Space Annihilator. Do you think he'll win a shopping spree or a free spa weekend? Oh, that'd be good. No. He'll have the highest score on the planet. He'll be totally famous. That's it? No spa weekend? <sighs> Come on with me. We'll just go check it out. Yeah! yeah! Almost there! This is so exciting! What does Jonesy see in this place? I can't stand it! The noise, the mindless games... Dude is 150 points away from the world record! If he wins this round, he'll be immortal. Right. How long has he been here, anyway? About four hours. I better win soon! I ate a burrito for breakfast that's just dying to get out! Ugh. Whoa! Close one! Come on! Yes, he's in my sights! This is it! Yeah! 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 You did it! You did it, bro! All right, Jonesy! I'm impressed. Wow. Hey, congratulations, man. You did it. You're looking at the Space Annihilator World Champion here. Yeah! 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 yeah These hands are a gift, and I take this gift seriously. And I plan to make the most of this title to inspire young people everywhere to spend as much time in the arcade as is humanly possible. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Jonesy. The man, baby. And as world champion, Jonesy, you get this oh. one month free pass to every game in Game World, plus staff washroom privileges. All right. I gotta go. Oh. Nikki wasn't here to see Jonesy win. I bet she and Hot Grumpy Guy are hitting it off right now. Are you talking about that guy at Grind Me? Because I asked Nikki if she liked him this morning and she said no. You have so much to learn about love, Wyatt. They're all sisters. You're late again. Sorry, I went to the wrong Grind Me. All 40 locations look exactly the same. People only spend five bucks a pop on this black guck because caffeine is a stimulant. You know what you are? You're a glorified caffeine pusher. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Don't! You've got a customer! 
Oh, it's Princess Latte. One extra hot, skinny, silky double whip caramel chai frappa latte with cinnamon sprinkles. You do realize that no combination of anything in this store can go into the blender and come out edible. Stone! Get grinding, blender boy. Okay, to your intestines. <laughs> Hmm. What? Yeah, I asked for cinnamon sprinkles. These sprinkles are chocolate. Guess little barista boy's gonna have to start all over again. You have got to be kidding. Everything okay here? Is it? Fine. <laughs> here it is. Man, I take a good picture. Does it bother you that you're about five years older than everybody else in here? <laughs> Heck no! It's a testament to my staying power. You gonna play a few free rounds on your champion game, bro? Oh, yeah! Gentlemen, watch and learn. <gasps> <gasps> what happened to the score? Norm, what are you doing, man? Well, after you left yesterday, Nelson beat your high score on Space Annihilator. Huh, that kid is good. So you lucked out yesterday, huh? Nothing to do with luck, my friend. He's a legend. Shut up, punk. Let's settle this right now. Two-player annihilator, winner takes all. You're on. I can't watch. Me neither, dude. belts in the back. Not in pink. Ugh. So, who wants a coffee? <laughs> you want to buy us coffees? Uh-huh. What's the catch? No catch. It's my turn. But it's been your turn for like eight months. Remember the time you went for coffees and took the rest of the day off? Or the time you got us decafs instead of regular coffees and our sales numbers sucked? Yep. Good times. Hey, is it so hard to believe that I just want to be nice? Yes. <laughs> Oh, come on! You're gonna get it. Shut up, punk. <laughs> oh, boys, Joseph, Norm. When can you have this baby fixed? I've got a title to defend here. It'll be ready when it's ready. Hey, yeah, and shot. Yeah. Show us what you're made of. One-on-one -on -one asteroid hunter. Oh, you're on? Like DEFCON. Come on, come on! Huh? What? what a piece of crap game! Get me a pop! Get your own. What? Hey, the illustrated hitchhiker's guide? What, you need pictures to get through it? You like me, don't you? Excuse me? I don't know anybody who drinks this much coffee in one day, especially this sludge. Okay, you are completely self-delusional. I do not like- Because I like you. A lot. Uh... What? Don't tell me the sharpest tongue in the mall has nothing to say. Um... I'm Stone. Nikki. Nice to meet you. Want to catch a movie with me tonight? That indie film, One Night in Red Deer, is at the Gigantaplex. Sure. Red Deer. Sounds, uh, yeah. Khaki Bark, have a khaki day. Nikki's been back to grind me. Things are definitely heating up. Is that one mine? Yep, here you go. Hi, Nikki. Ah! You weren't just hanging out with Grumpy Hawkeye, were you? Oh, of course not. Anyway, we're going to the movies tonight. Yep, chick flick night. <laughs> we were thinking of going to see a girl in her hair. Oh, uh, I can't. I'm working late. <laughs> we could wait until the late show, right, Jen? Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, actually, I'm kind of tired. I think I'll just head home early. Oh, okay. Was it me or was Nikki lying? Through her teeth. You know what this means. She's so hooked. Hold <laughs> 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 still. <laughs> 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 a 
Okay, we need to stay nearby in case Grumpy Hot Guy shows up. I don't want to miss a minute of this. I'll get some snacks. No stakeout is complete without mini brownie puffs. Or Miss Piggy's chips. Right. He's a speed demon. It could take weeks of full-time practice to beat him. That little dude whip your butt? No, he just won a few rounds. I'll nail him tomorrow, though. Maybe it's time you retired. You've already got the best Space Annihilator score in the world. Yeah, for 20 minutes. Not helping, dude. Now you can pass on the torch. To that little twerp? Are you kidding me? You guys don't know what that arcade meant to me. No matter what went wrong in my life, if I lost a hockey game or got rejected by some chick, I could walk into that arcade and know I was money. Well, if it's that important to you, you need to get back on your horse and win that title back. Yeah, make the mini dude bow down to the mighty Jonesy. You're right. I'll take that title back from that little fart no matter what it takes. Stealing, lying, cheating, sky's the limit. Thanks, dudes. Not really where I was heading with that. Guess who? Well, based on the smell of fresh ground coffee, I'd have to say... Blender Boy? The one and only. Ready for the movie? Sure, let's go. Oh, Nikki. Where are you going? Uh, oh? But your shift doesn't end for another hour. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take this young lady to emergency. What? Why? She has a severe case of corporate oppression. <laughs> well, better hurry, Doc. My soul is almost crushed. <laughs> <laughs> She has soul? I didn't just get you fired, did I? Uh, in my dreams. Oh, I don't know about that guy. He's like a male version of Nikki. Yeah, it's like she's dating her doppelganger. You know her double? Her evil twin? Oh, yeah! I've read all about this. Dating someone exactly like you can be brutal. Especially if you're Nikki. Yeah, she'd get on her own nerves pretty fast. This could be a disaster. We've got to stop them from getting too serious. Let's follow them. Oh, I guess this means we're going to miss a girl in her hair. We are such good friends. Don't forget the chips. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Jonesy! What? It was an accident! Jonesy! What? Jonesy! Oh, my! I've dropped my change! Oops! Smarten up, Jonesy, or I'll take your gold pass back. Just wait until tonight's big match. You'll see who's money. Are your co-workers like triplets or something? Yeah, they're clones. Manufactured at head office and pre-programmed to get on my nerves. What about you? What's with the Java Joe job? Ugh, just biding my time until I graduate and then hitchhike around Nepal. Good plan. Now stop hogging the popcorn. I don't remember offering you any. Come on, hand it over. Nuh-uh. Come on. Nuh-uh. Give it to me. Come on. Are you kidding? Give Can you see them? Now. What's going on? Oh, no. The They're fighting already. I knew it. Oh, this could get ugly. Poor Nikki. Let's get down there. Wait. We don't want to embarrass her unless it's absolutely necessary. We'll move in close, but stay undercover. Right. Can I just... Sorry. Excuse me. Coming through. Excuse me. Scared yet? I don't generally get scared at comedies. Too bad. I'm a good cuddler. Easy, tiger. I know, but I... Hey, play along with me. Don't turn around. I need to teach somebody a lesson. What do you need me to do? Why don't you... Nikki, thanks for offering to pay for the whole evening. That's okay. I stole all the money from the khaki barn cash. <gasps> good thinking. Have any more? Uh, no, but we can lift someone's wallet on the way out. Nikki, have you lost your mind? This guy is a criminal. I'll hire him to shut you up. Shut Get this fat head out of the way. These are my friends who won't mind their own business, Caitlin and Jen. Hey. Hi. Hi. So you knew we were here the whole time? Yep. So you're not a thief? Uh-uh. 
Following you was Caitlin's idea. <gasps> it so wasn't. What are you two doing in here? We were worried about you, Nikki. Shut up. You skipped our chick flick date and lied to us. Then went off on a date with Grumpy Hot Guy. The name is Stone. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Tonight is the night when you stop being a pain in my butt, little one. Just hit start so we can get this over with. Jonesy, the way you've been acting, I'm gonna have to take your gold pass away. What? My pass? Come on, man. Let's get out of here. Maybe you were right, Wyatt. Maybe I am past my peak. You should just take me out to pasture and shoot me. Whoa, dude is messed up. Hey, Jonesy. Hey there, beautiful. Or not so messed up. You know, maybe it is time to hang up the old arcade trophies and focus on more mature pursuits, like chicks. Later. Hey, baby, have you ever played Doubles on Space Annihilator? <laughs> Dude, still messed up. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about my friends. They're a bit protective. No worries, but now we have to come back and see the movie again. Your treat. Yeah, well, I think I'll be choosing a good movie next time. Okay, then. So, I had a rotten time tonight. Yeah, me too. Me too. The worst. Can I get your number so I can never call you? Not a chance. See ya. See ya. Okay, we are so sorry, Nikki. We were just trying to help. Oh, come on. You two were acting like crazy people. Stone is kind of important to me. I don't want to blow it. Promise me you won't tell the guys yet. I don't want Jonesy to hear about this the wrong way. Yeah, he's so sensitive. Promise? I promise. promise. I give 50-50 odds that Stone calls you today, Nikki. Oh, it's way more like 80-20. Hey, remember, you promised not to talk about it. Here come the guys. Yo. Hey. Hi. Hey, I heard you were a class act yesterday at the arcade. There's nothing cooler than knowing when to pass on the glory. Yep, he made us proud. Thanks for not hoisting my dirty underwear onto the lemon, Jen. Yeah, well, uh... Who wants tacos? I'm in. Got any money? Dude, <laughs> is that your underwear? Jones, pretty crusty. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> 